Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome to linuxhint.com once again and here we are uh, with today's video and in this video we're going to talk about how to install uh, Java, the latest Java on your system. So when I say Java, obviously I mean JDK uh, and the recently launched JDK, the latest JDK is JDK 11. Okay, so that's what we are going to install on our Ubuntu system. So first of all, uh, we have to open up our terminal and we do that by pressing Control Alt T. Okay, so now our terminal is opened up and what we're going to do, the first thing, the first step that we're going to do is that we are going to add PPA repository. Okay, so we'd add PPA repository, we'd update our repositories of our Ubuntu system and then we'd install Java. And obviously, if you have worked with Java uh, in other systems, in other operating systems such as Windows, then you must be familiar with this thing that whenever you are actually installing JDK, then you have to add environment variables as well. So all of that stuff, we are going to do it by using command line, okay? So we are going to put in commands and we're going to perform all the functions, okay? So first of all, we're going to add repository, the PP repository. So for that, I have to write sudo add, then apt, and then repository. Okay. And uh, after that, I need to give a space. Then I need to write here PPA and then Linux uprising. All right. And then slash Java. Hit enter it asks you for the password put in the password hit enter and it would start to install this repository okay so it says press enter to continue I have pressed enter if you want to cancel you can press control C and now it would start to download that uh, repository the PP repository and it would start to um, add it and now it has added it so now I, what i'm going to do that i'm going to basically update the repository that is already there in ubuntu so i update it and the reason you have to update this repository um, the ubuntu repository by using this command is that because you want your repository to be updated okay so if there are recent launches the recent upgrades you want them to be present on your system because it is quite possible that you when you are running um, a new command to install something it might not be the latest latest version okay so we want the latest version so next after that uh, now these two steps are done the third the third step is that we are going to install jdk okay so the recent uh, jdk at the time of making a, of this video is JDK 11 okay so for that we'd write here in fact let me just clear it and uh, we'd write here let me just zoom in so that you can see a little bit clearer okay zoom in more so now I'm gonna write here uh, sudo why didn't I get this idea before okay uh, I have zoomed in now I would write here sudo apt get and then I would write here install and then I would write here Oracle hyphen Java 11 and then we'd write here installer okay so now you can see that this is the command that I need to write here uh, and Java 11 basically it represents JDK 11 so for example in future if there is a launch of JDK 12 then you just can simply write here Java 12 okay and this command will work fine so I hit enter and you can see that it has started to install it i press y uh, i already didn't have java on my system so i'll teach you in the end that how you can actually okay so this is the system this is the configuring oracle java 11 installer so i press okay and then it says do you accept the oracle technology network license agreement of for oracle java SE terms i say yes and then after a few time it would basically end and it would end up installing a jdk so i was talking about i think i was talking about java how to check if java is installed in your system i'll show you that later 
but uh, before installing java what you can do that you can check the version of java so uh, if java is installed on your system already um, it would tell you the version if it is not installed already it would not recognize that command okay so after installing jdk um, I'm, I'm gonna set the environment variables and then i'm gonna show you that how you can check the version of java which is installed on your system okay so now we shall wait because it is downloading that jdk 11 and uh, once it downloads it then it has to unzip it and then install it okay so we will wait okay so now once you have done that now our uh, jdk is installed so we'll clear it and now we are going to set this jdk as default uh, when i say as default i mean that we are going to set our environment variables okay so i write here sudo then i write here apt get let me just write here apt get and then i would write here install and then i write here oracle hyphen java 11 and then i write here set hyphen default okay so this is the simple command that you need to write oh excuse me so this is the simple command that you need to write and uh, when you would hit enter uh, it would be set as the environment variable so now I'd show you that how you can actually check if this thing is installed on your system or not. So for that, we'd press Control Alt T, uh, and we'd open up another terminal. And in here, what we can do is that we can write here Java, and then we'd write here hyphen hyphen version. Okay. So now you can see here uh, it tells us that the Java 11.0.2 version. Uh, has been installed on our system and it is there so for example before running all those commands if you want to know if java is, uh, is installed on your on your system or not then you can run simply those commands and you can see i knew it i, I didn't have any java on my system so that was my first time installing java on uh, this ubuntu system so that's why i didn't check but you can check it by using this version and of course after installation you can check out as well if the latest version have been installed or not that you have installed okay so if you want to check uh, the java c version java c is actually uh, the program that is responsible for running the java scripts or J java programs so i'd write here java c hyphen hyphen version and i hit enter and you can see that java c is also installed it means that uh, now you can run Java programs on this Ubuntu system as well. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. You have learned something new. For written articles, you can visit our website linuxin.com. If you have any questions, comment below. If you want us to create a course on Java specifically, then let us know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.